have a time cutter Z4220 here. I uh, went to take the clutch off, uh, took the 5 8 bolt out of the bottom, went ahead and disconnected the electrical up here at the top. Uh, won't come off. Real tight on there. I'm going to show you how to take these things off nice and easy. Um, you can use either a hammer or you can use an air impact, something like this. Uh, blunt into it. Uh, we normally just spray lubricant up here at the top. Uh, your choice of lubricant, uh, you'll, you'll want to spray up here at the top liberally and then in between this uh, pulley here and the clutch liberally also. Once you do that, normally with a little bit of vibration, no matter what lube you're using, it'll come right off. So I'll show you how to do it here. We use Kimball Midwest penetrating oil. Nothing, uh, nothing we've found to be better, but um, if you have a hundred different people and you have a hundred different products, you'll probably have a hundred different testimonials. Uh, stuff's good, but um, we don't get paid to promote it or anything. So I've sprayed that on there. Still not coming off. I'm going to grab some air here and we'll give it a little bit of a jolt. So you want to make sure you don't want to damage the uh, main hole here in the bottom, right in the center. Uh, if you booger that up at all, it's going to be hard to get the bolt back in to tighten down. Uh, you want to either hit to the side here, or you can hit straight up and down with your impact. Either way, it's going to kind of just get that stuff to go down along the shaft and have the clutch come off. Now, see how it slid just a little bit there? I'm just pulling slightly, but it just got that lube right down in there for us, so it was able to come off. So it's moved at this point, which means that that lube's in there working. I'm just kind of working back and forth here. A lot of times they'll just fall straight off. It really just depends on what, what's actually there holding it on. A lot of times there's a bunch of debris. We're gonna spray one more time up there, get a little bit more lube right in between the top pulley and the clutch. Push back up once. Should, when it comes right back down, it should pop right off of there. Normally a little bit easier than this. Normally come right off of that. But as soon as you get it moving, that's the main step. As soon as that thing's moving, you know it's going to be able to come all the way off. We're going to hit it one more time. Go ahead and hit it one more time with the air. Hmm. Right there at that end, it doesn't want to come, but it's... There she goes. So, it was nice and dirty, but you see here that allowed it with just throwing that little bit of vibration from that impact. Uh, you could also do it with a hammer, just lightly tap. Uh, does the same thing, obviously the impact's gonna work better. But you can see here, that actually got down in all around all your different crevices, around the shaft, and allowed it to come straight up off of there. So that is the easiest way, no matter what, to get a clutch off. The, the easiest overall. I've tried a thousand different ways and that'll get it off every time. Thanks for watching, like, and subscribe.